Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I guess that's two mom's heart kills over the, the X's over top. Which doesn't really matter because we're going to be probably losing this file at release anyway. And by probably, I mean almost certainly. Which is also why I'm not doing any of these challenges. I've seen, you know, well, that's not true. I haven't seen anybody asking about them because we're still a little bit pre-release here. I've just been going crazy with the recording because I'm having such a good time playing Rebirth. Um, that's also why I'm not doing any of the challenges. Is because why do the challenge if I'm just going to lose it immediately after completing it? Can you imagine doing something like the purest and, you know... Hey, we haven't even... Oh, we did unlock it on this one. Yeah, you unlock the purest, you do it, and then you have to do it all over again. No, sir. Just once for me, please. We have an Eden token. I know some people might want to see us check out a different character. You know what? We'll have time for another Eden run eventually. Why don't we play Eve for the first time since we've uh, played Rebirth? Hopefully she's been buffed a little bit. She starts with Dead Bird and Horror Babylon. I'll tell you guys the seed right off the bat here so you can join me. This is 4JANXDKD. All right, I am excited. I this is the most excited I've been for an Eve run since the release of like the Halloween update back in 2011, back before I knew that Eve was straight up utter trash. No offense, Edmund. I know she's one of your favorite characters. I'm also making an enormous presumption that you're even watching this video right now. Obviously, you know you've got a, a lot of stuff going on in your own life. You might want to never look at Isaac again, or at least take a little while off from looking at Isaac. Work on some other video games. But hey, in case you're watching. Eve sucks. And I'm hoping that this video here is going to convince me that that's changed. But, and then, oh, there's some poop in here. I just kind of glossed over it, but there's some, uh, there's a rock and there's some poop. There's nothing in the poop, but that's okay. I figure since we're Eve, we don't have to worry about a spacebar item charge yet. Um, let's make sure that we are, uh, doing a decent job at, uh, checking out all the rooms that might actually help us out against this boss here, because you never know. 2 HP, maybe we ooh, go up against Dingle and end up getting our Dingle rocked. I don't want that to happen. Dead Bird, is your AI any better now that I've taken damage? So far, not super impressed. Maybe go over, thank you. You did get one kill there, I appreciate it. And we get the prayer card. All things considered, I know we had the prayer card to start our last Eden run. At least it's not Bob's brains again, which of course now that I've said it, Bob's brain is definitely going to show up, but uh... Maybe for once, I'll not pick it up. I've still got that, like, Rebirth new car smell thing going on. Where wherever I see an item, I'm like, ooh, gotta have it. Like it, love it, gotta have it. Two keys means I will be opening up one of the uh, golden chests that's over here. We'll use our prayer card when we finish the level. At least, you know, getting the prayer card early, it's basically like an HP per floor. That's pretty sweet. As long as we don't lose it like an idiot. Against Larry Jr., I don't expect to lose it like an idiot. That was pretty terrible damage. Uh, Horror of Babylon activates at one red heart now. It used to be only a half red heart, I think. Now, that this is where my own lack of knowledge in Isaac betrays me a little bit, but I think that did indeed used to be the case. So that looks like a paper crown. That looks like Pageant Boy to me. It is. Ultimate Grand Supreme. It gave us one penny shy of being able to actually get uh, 15 cents, which is really disappointing. But because we have keys, I'm going to open it up anyway. We have what I would consider to be one surplus key. And there's a 15 cent map. Come on. Come on. Oh, thank you, Nintendo 64. Treasure map. So now we can see the secret room, uh, which there is not on this floor. Let's make sure we use our Horror Babylon, or not Horror Babylon, our uh, prayer card. And I would say that floor went pretty well. We got very lucky that that one last remaining fire did indeed contain uh, a single penny, but hey, that worked out nicely for us. By the way, there's, I know that as these episodes come out, there's going to be a lot of people... Maybe we can't see the secret room on that anymore. There's going to be a lot of people asking questions. They're going to be asking, hey, what's up with this timer on the on the level screen, like the, the floor screen? I don't know. What's up with this mechanic? What's up with that mechanic? I, if you're a relatively recent viewer, or maybe you've just forgotten, uh, to, to my channel in general, I don't know. I'm. This is. I'm. I'm in, as in the dark as you guys. My whole thing is that I want to experience the game as relatively fresh as I possibly can, and that's the way I came into Rebirth. Uh, you know, like I've, I've told you, and I know I hesitate to say this because I know it's going to make some people mad. Um, I've seen this item before. I it gives us like flat tears, shielded tears. That's what it was. So I don't know what shielded tears actually do, but we got him. Um, but yeah, I, I have had access to Rebirth for a little while. I don't want to say how long necessarily, but 
Um, I, I chose to not play it, basically, not too much anyway, because I wanted to maintain that kind of, like, you know, new Rebirth smell when I jumped in. And I know some people are going to be mad about that. How could you talk about the the hype leading up to Rebirth? You fooled us, you know? You you already had it. You were talking about the hype. Nah, dog. Not at all. You got it backwards. I was so hyped because I had been actually holding the game like a Christmas present, waiting to unwrap it until almost November 4th. So, yeah, you guys did have it a little harder in that uh, it's not November 4th today, and I'm still playing it, but... I, I had the I had the gift in my hand. Oh, that's what shielded tears do. Oh, that's a really cool effect. It's also really annoying sometimes because their tears cancel my tears. But you know, on the flip side, my tears cancel their tears too. What an incredible battle we've got brewing here. Anyway, yeah. So that's where I'm coming from on that one. You know, I I, I didn't play, and I know some people that had access did do this, and that's fine because that's more their style. But. Uh, I didn't play, uh, you know, 200 hours of pre-release and then know what everything is going in, or most of the stuff going in, and so I could be a, an authority and teach other people. I wanted to experience it kind of all fresh. I know it sounds like I, I, I can't help but put my own bias in there, right? I'm not trying to talk shit about anybody who did do that, and you know that. You're just trying to cause trouble, I think. So we know that this is a room for two free cents now. We learned that a couple episodes ago. Um, but yeah, you know, I want to, rather than being a teacher, I want to be a student along with you guys. That's where I uh, fall into this one. Are we really not going to get a, a prayer card here? That's kind of frustrating. It's not necessarily um, a big surprise. I guess that's why you would want some spirit hearts to back you up so that you could actually use the prayer card efficiently. That hurts pretty bad, though. But we should have a deal with the devil here. It's theoretically possible we can get a deal with the devil, fight Krampus, get Lump of Coal, and that would give us exactly the proper number of rooms to get a charge on our prayer card. And then we pick up one extra HP. And that is really going to be the difference. It is going to be one HP. Because I really doubt we're getting three prayer cards on the next floor unless we get a really, really lucky shop. So now we come to an interesting uh, proposition. This is one of the first times I think I've had the map over the course of the, these episodes thus far. It's the first time I remember having it, at least, which doesn't mean that it's the first time I've had it. But anyway, um, do I assume that it is showing us the location of the secret room, but there's no secret room on this floor? Or do I assume that it no longer shows us the location of the secret room and try to find it myself, potentially wasting a bomb? I mean, one bomb is not that big of a deal if we found out that that was indeed the hypothesis that's correct. I don't know. It's an interesting situation. I'd say that was a pretty decent fight. We got toothpicks, tears plus shot speed up. At least it increases our rate of fire now. And you know what? I will take the pact. We don't need to become guppy. I'll take the pact, get those spirit hearts. I think having a higher rate of fire makes a lot more sense uh, as something I would enjoy when I have shielded tears. Watch out for that because I really can't afford to take damage now. And this is, uh, we haven't had the pact very much. It's one of my favorite items from vanilla. So yeah, the map no longer shows us the secret room. How very, very interesting. So, with two keys... Oh, we have a golden chest, but we don't have any bombs to access it. Hmm... I figured we'd still go for it. There is PhD. If we had just a bomb, we could blow this up and borrow some money and pick up PhD. But we don't. So I think instead I'm just gonna buy this key and we'll get out of here. That's fine. I am happy with our... Almost the <laughs> same mistake again. I'm very happy with our situation because I uh, I do have Permanent Horror Babylon as well. So it was actually a huge damage bonus to pick up... Oh, we're on Catacombs. Interesting. It was a huge damage bonus for me to pick up uh, the Pact in that situation. As you can see, I'm doing crazy damage. This is a Tinted Rock. 48-hour energy. Oh, dude, that's so amazing here. 48-hour energy in that situation is basically just a straight-up... Uh, HP upgrade. That is something I had never considered. The synergies with that item are going to be crazy. That's just one example right there. That's super cool. Oh, these fires are not such a big deal when you have shielded tears and you're shooting them like crazy. See, that's... Oh, that's a new trinket there. Mom's toenail. I would assume that would be like a speed upgrade, but it had a question mark next to it. I don't know. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's the kind of experience I wanted to preserve, is me getting 48-hour energy with prayer card and being like, oh, that seems all right, and then suddenly, oh shit, that's actually amazing. Uh, so, and again, this is kind of amazing right here. If I'm doing my math properly here, uh, excuse me? Oh, that's what Mom's Toenail does. Occasionally, it sends down a uh, foot. Probably with less frequency than Daddy Longlegs, I'd have to guess, but 
Or maybe it's only when we get hit it sends down a foot or something. These guys shoot like the most annoying kind of tears, so I kind of want to stay back if I can. Uh, but yeah, now with 48 hour energy, we could just get one HP upgrade right away, or we could try to like triple down. Uh, would that even... So it gives us a full charge, right? You know what? I have to wait until I get out of this room, because my brain is not going to work properly here. I'm digging this run so far, though. I think there's lots of kind of cool uh, consequences that we have going on. Okay, let's think about this. 48-hour energy. I use it. It gives us one prayer card and then another one right after. Uh, so that would give us one full HP, but we can actually get one and a half eternal hearts if I feel confident enough that I can keep the other one alive by keeping my spirit hearts available. And the way we would do that is just wait for this one to be done and then use 48-hour energy. Alright, so we don't have to get hit to make good use of Mom's Toenail. You know, as far as uh, trinkets go, I, I really doubt that Mom's Toenail is going to be up there. But I've only seen him for like, you know, two times now. Um, but it seems like a, a trinket that's definitely better than nothing. For sure. And that's not uh, something you can say about every trinket in Isaac. That was really dumb of me. I really thought I could make it out. Well, now I don't have any spirit hearts, so... Uh, but that's another 48 hour energy right there! Oh my god! This is absurd. I wish I could get a bomb. That's Rainbow Baby. I wish I could get a bomb so that I could actually, uh, you know, get that. Well, get all these pills, I guess. Let's check out our shop. We might as well. Maybe there's something on sale. 15 cents for the blue map. How much do you want to bet that the blue map is what allows us to find a, uh, the secret rooms? I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and guess. I don't know that with any kind of authority. A little bit more money. So the way that we would do this is we would go prayer card, 48-hour energy. Oh, my God. Prayer card. Mom? Excuse me? Do you have something you'd like to say? Maybe an apology, perhaps? Because I was just thinking about that situation, and then you come at me with that shit. Okay, well, at least we got one... No, we got two HP up from that. That was weird. I'm I'm, we I'm weirded out and confused. Let's just go. Is it possible that if, if nobody's on the screen, or if no enemies are on the screen, Mom's foot just drops on us and kills the crap out of us? That seems not so good then. I'm starting to think that maybe uh, Mom's toenail might actually be a terrible trinket. <laughs> so Rainbow Baby's got some uh, cool new effects, as you probably saw there. The, one of them was the charm effect, which uh, confuses the enemy and makes it damage its own kind. I took some damage against the husk I'm not proud of. Hopefully we can get our HP back. It looks like we will. And no deal with the devil, which I honestly think is very fair. Safety pin. Evil plus range plus shot speed up. Now, we don't really have anything else to do with these keys. If I look at our map here, I could buy a spirit heart. We already have a black card, though, from the evil. So if we wanted something to protect our... Uh... If we wanted... Oh! He opened this up. Okay, we'll try this. If we wanted something to protect our eternal hearts, though, we already have that black card. Now, we'd probably need more than that to protect it. Because I'm taking more damage than usual due to new enemies, new enemy patterns, the movement feeling different, etc., etc. But whatever. This is fine. We got Luckfoot. That feels pretty good. And I guess we'll just head down to the next floor. Oh, I have a bomb now. I could have gotten the 48-hour energy. Okay, sloppy play. I'll admit. Hey, you're playing the seed. Do better. That's, I, I implore you to do better. What kind of what kind of person would I be if I wanted you to do worse? Now, our damage and our tears seem super neat so far. I'm into this run. Rainbow Baby seems, uh, you know, competent. I liked Rainbow Baby to begin with. Doesn't have a hard sell with me. We'll probably go to our cursed room. I don't know. It depends if we need to keep this... If we have a chance to keep this black heart alive to keep uh, our eternal heart chances coming. But I think our damage is pretty good. I still don't really know what evil does. But is evil a stat that's listed on the screen here? I thought maybe it would be like the ball thing. Or like the clover. I guess the clover is luck. And the ball would probably be shot speed. Alright. So we don't have like an evil stat on our screen. I'm going to guess that the evil stat probably gives us a better chance of getting deals with the devil or something. Seems reasonable. Uh, hematomesis. Hematomesis. I don't know. I don't know what that does, but it gave us a heart. And it took all our other hearts away? That seems kind of bad. Now that I think about it. But maybe it took all our hearts away to possibly pay out with something better? You always gotta think a little bit outside the box here when you're talking about, uh... When you're talking about Isaac. Not everything is as it seems. Always. Sometimes things are exactly as it seems. Sometimes they're not. 
Sometimes, you know, you just got a ham sandwich. Sometimes uh, someone wiped the slices of bread between their ass cheeks because they hate you. That's probably never happened to you. Statistically, probably not. But if it has happened to you, happened to you, statistically, it's probably happened more than once. If you're the kind of person somebody wants to, you know, wipe bread between their assholes to get back at, you probably you created some enemies. Let's just put it that. I'm not, I'm not trying to defend the person. I'm just saying statistically, you know, I, I don't think you should mess with anybody's food. That seems like a big... Uh, Variation of trust. I I am sorry, Kate. I can't really answer your question right now. But uh, that is indeed the incorrect information. You can tell her that uh, she can wait till tomorrow. Anyway, uh, I know we have prayer card. I am not going to be able to use it. Yet, I mean, I'm able to use it. I'm telling you, I am able, but it's probably a bad idea. So I'm not going to do it. And I realize, like, recognize. I hope at least I haven't seen any of like Cobalt or Bizzenaps uh, videos yet. I hope they're doing not as well as usual. Which, like, in terms of viewership, I hope they're blowing it out of the park. In terms of their actual gameplay, I hope they're a little bit less uh, solid than they were at Isaac at, at Vanilla. I guess I should say, just so that. You know, I have an excuse to say, like, hey, I'm, I, I realize that not all of my uh, decisions and my, my play in Rebirth has been fantastic thus far. You know, it's it's a new game. It really is. You know, a lot of the skills carry over more than probably any other two games on the planet. But there is a, there's a bit of a learning curve associated with it. Even still, even if you were uh, into the original. And its expansion. So I, I <laughs> there's no way to say that without sounding like an asshole, but I know they'd laugh, which is why I'm laughing as I say it. Uh, I hope that they're also not just like winning every single run. Maybe they are though, and if they are more power to them, they are better players, so I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not trying to be better than them, I'm just trying to say that, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't expect perfect play out of my Isaac series uh, in Rebirth for quite some time. I wouldn't expect perfect play ever, but I wouldn't even expect good play for quite some time. Hey, an HP upgrade to what do I owe the pleasure? So I'm gonna play it safe. I could use the prayer card. Well, let's see how many rooms are left before we say something silly. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So we could get a second Eternal Heart if we play our cards right. I'm totally gonna take Hor uh, Spirit of the Night, not Horror Babylon. I think it's a really good item. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna try to hopefully get a second second eternal heart and then we'll be able to get one more on the next floor as well one or two actually I guess anyway I'm digging this run so far I, I'm starting to recognize by the way that I think I might need to dial back the deals with the devil but it's hard to choose where to dial them back because when I the pact I could probably do without it's easy to forget that for a couple hundred episodes is that left hand yeah you know I'm gonna take the left hand instead of mom's Toenail. Mom's toenail scares me a little bit. I don't know if it actually does hurt me, but I seem like it might have. I think we might as well, if we're looking for the secret room, might as well try here. There's a key for a key. Secret room's not there. It's plausible that the secret room could never be in a situation like that. Oh, there we go. Three cents. Not really the kind of deal I was hoping for. Have we already been to our item room? I don't think so. Where did we get... That, that item back there isn't an actually an item. It's a, uh, right, okay, I got it. It's, uh, a trinket. It's mom's toenail. By the way, I'm an idiot. When I had low health, I should have gone to the boss trap room. But do recognize that's probably less of a big deal in this because the boss rooms or boss trap rooms thus far have been pretty god-awful. This is an old vanilla room here. Um, most of the rooms have just been either golden chests, red chests, or silver chests, or combinations therein. Doesn't mean it wouldn't have been great. I'm just saying I'm defending myself a little bit, saying it probably wasn't a major oversight. Although I would have loved to have done it. Crystal ball. It's a good item. Sometimes. Gave us the devil. And we're not going to be able to get another eternal heart, but I still don't think this was like wasted or anything. So what do we roll with? Uh, crystal ball or a uh, prayer card? I think the prayer card's a little bit less interesting, so I'm gonna go crystal ball. Got two black cards here now. Yeah, I, I feel content in this decision. The extra HP is nice. Man, am I really gonna trade like one HP per floor when I always complain about 
Rebirth not giving me enough HP? The answer to that question is no. I am having a complete change of heart. Let's go back and get our prayer card. Crystal Ball is good for the map and compass type stuff, but that's, that's more of a high level concern. And I don't think I'm playing Rebirth at a high level yet. Okay. We can't go on top of the, uh, the spikes. Like, it, it won't hurt. Oh, actually, I guess it would hurt us if we went to the self-sacrifice room, but whatever. Down to the next floor. Feeling great. We're gonna have four HP. A lot of HP protecting our prayer cards. Like, black cards, spirit hearts protecting those. Uh, let's check out our boss trap room. This is the depths. Doesn't really worry me too much. Red chests, I will 99.9% .9 of the time open. Especially now that we have the left hand. I mean, why would we take the left hand if we weren't going to open red chests? Seems very silly. Charm tears do not just, like, take over an enemy, unfortunately. Like, it doesn't make them into your your mental puppet, basically. They can still hurt you with their shots, I think. It really seems like uh, Rainbow Baby's big on those charm effects, man. For better and for worse. The slow effect is nice, too. kind of Stradivarius type stuff going on in the background here is freaking me out. Extra key. Beautiful. You know, one thing we've been very uh, blessed with thus far is no key problems. That's going to continue here. Forgot what's up with those things. Oh, they shoot homing tears at you, yes, but um, beyond that, what's up with them? You know, if you blow them up, do you have a better chance of getting something out of them? These are the kind of things we'll come to learn, you know? It took me a lot of episodes of Vanilla Isaac to realize that Tinted Rocks even existed. It's taken a lot of episodes in Rebirth for me to even be able to recognize them, and I still don't think I'm there yet. This is a very lucky run for HP. Not only did we get the prayer card, but, you know, we've had an awful lot of HP just kind of fall into our lap, which doesn't happen very often. And, um, of course, let's not forget the obvious prayer card as well. Along with those 48-hour energies, a couple of which, let's be honest, I probably mismanaged. That's all right. It's a learning curve. Plenty of keys. Everyone we get here is stacking one up for the next floor because this floor is unlimited. Almost... Oh, that was bad. Then. But it'll kill them all. I uh, almost wish that I took Guppy's tail all those years ago. Curse room is a luxury. We could choose not to go with, through with it if we want to um, because that would save us one full black heart. One black heart pretty much clears out a room. This is a big room, but it doesn't seem that bad. The enemy, I mean, these guys are obviously annoying, and they always have been, but it's not so bad. I was gonna say, watch me get hit by all of them. Should be some kind of special room up here. First, we're gonna have to kill a couple of these uh, flying zombies. No problem. Interesting idea for an enemy, but not really that bad in the whole scheme of things. Probably should have taken damage there. Anyway, our prayer card is almost complete. 15 cents for um, one plus one bombs for the rest of the run. I, I honestly, I really like those items thus far. They might not end up being fantastic deals, you know, late game. I, I really loved the ladder for like two years until I realized, um, well, you know, part of it is also that we don't have the D6, so we can't reroll it. But um, yeah, I really loved the ladder for a long time until I realized that there's better uses for our money and for our shop item pedestals. But I think those items are pretty good right now. I would, I would totally go for them if we could... Uh, actually snag some extra money. Which is looking sort of unlikely at this point. One bomb available to find the secret room. It's okay though. Well, if, if this map doesn't show you the locations of the secret room and the blue map does, honestly, that makes this map really, really a lot worse than it used to be. And this is all conjecture. I still don't know if that's actually how it works out, but uh, that would make this map I don't, I don't know why you would ever buy it. If you had the compass, I could see you buying it as like a supplement, but 15 cents to just see how many rooms are on the floor is kind of a shitty deal. Notched axe, beautiful. It, it's a terrible item, <laughs> I think. Uh, we're gonna stick with the prayer card, quite obviously. Whoa, that sound effect always gets me a little bit. Um, yeah, sorry, notched axe. At least you're not a shop item anymore, like that. Makes you a little bit better. Again, you know, I don't consider it a failure of design that items like Notched Axe that were bad are still bad. You know, I'm, I'm glad they didn't go out of their way to bend over backwards and make every item in the game useful in its own unique way, you know? Some items are just not very good. And that's okay. So this will be one plus one bombs for the rest of the run. We would be stupid to not uh, use it right away. 
Like, we should go back and buy it right away. Otherwise, if a bomb drops on our next room, we're going to feel like a bunch of, you know, idiots here. Well, that spider died quickly, thankfully. And we'll still have enough money, I'm assuming, uh, that maybe if we fight greed on the next floor, we'll be able to donate as much as we can, you know, to our, uh, to our donation fund here. And I think this run's shaping up very well so far. So, BOGO bombs. Again, it seems like the kind of item that maybe in the, the future I won't be a huge fan of. Let's try here for our secret room. I'm feeling lucky. Ah, you, you win some, you lose some, right? Uh, yeah, we'll see, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. How this item fares, but for now, I think it's pretty good. I am going to go through the effort of shooting all these uh, fires here. It's interesting how that uh, like tractor beam actually warps our shots as well as our, uh, our movement. Kind of cool. Monstro 2. Easy fight. No big deal. Not as easy as it used to be, but still easy nonetheless. The same pattern that was useful to beat Monstro 2 with in vanilla is useful to beat Monstro 2 with in Rebirth. You can't really bait him, but it's still like the proper way to handle it, I think. Yeah. Murder all of the children that you just created. Thank you very much. He seems to fire a little bit faster, so I don't know if that's something we should be concerned with. Maybe we can get a slow out of Rainbow Baby here? Just a little bit of a slow? Yeah, that'll do it. It does, uh, this, that was a good piece of information there. Slows do still limit the movement of, uh, of bosses. At least the bosses they used to limit the movement for. And I'm really liking, I wonder how many times Shielded Tears has saved our ass. There's no way for me to really know without pouring through, the, pouring through this video with a fine tooth comb, but, uh, it seems to have blocked a lot of shots. Now, if only we could get a shielded tears that, you know, blocked lasers or deflected them. That would be amazing. We don't really need to use charm tears on Monstro. It, it helps him shoot in the wrong direction sometimes, but uh, he already hurts the, the minions he creates, so who cares? And that is Blue Mushroom, which is like evil and tears up or something like that? HP tiers and shot speed down. Oh, we got a lot of items here. We unlocked the tank, Maggie, we unlocked the curse challenge. And we actually did just barely get enough H or enough uh, charge on our prayer card to get one more HP from this floor, which is kind of getting absurd here. Oh, we're firing like crazy now. Uh, I, don't, I was going to use a bomb there. Luckily, we don't have any. And... Oh! Alright, I'll take it because I don't know what it does. Contract from below, wealth, but at what cost? Maybe this will give us some more money. He's got a keyhole in his head. I was trying to use it there. And we even get our spirit heart back. We're going to lose half of that spirit heart on our way out. But whatever. <clears throat> By the way, I really... I didn't mention this. And it didn't really occur to me until recently. But I really like how uh, white hearts are displayed now. How eternal hearts are displayed as the last half of like your last HP in red. Or in blue if you don't have any red HP. Uh, because it really... It makes it more logical to explain why you're losing that heart, I think. Or maybe it doesn't, and I'm just projecting, but... It, it seems to me like that's a little bit uh, of an easier way to convey that, hey, when you play the Blood Bank, you're gonna lose that. Because that's part of your red heart. It's not red heart. It's not like its own separate thing anymore. It's still weird, because you'd expect to lose whatever's on the end of your HP bar. But if you've already got the knowledge to know that you're gonna lose red hearts when you play Blood Banks before spirit hearts, then this makes sense. A little, it makes a little more sense, I should say. So there's Bogo Bomb. Uh, I don't know if it gives us Bogo Key as well. But if it does, two for the price of one. Don't mind if I already did. What a happy accident. Now. This is good. Oh, careful there. I don't like big dingles. I... If I said that in like the voice of a child, that would be creepy. You're like, I don't like big dingles. I apologize for even going there. It's uh, it's not uh, a laughing matter. It just popped into my head, and sometimes I can be kind of an asshole. Uh, all right, I hate these ghosts. Why can't you be more like space ghosts? So that guy's pretty cool. Do I have to move to get you to show up or something? Any enemy that forces you to wait to kill them is an enemy that I don't want in my life. For example, see uh, those turrets with the skulls? Come on, though, dog. It's getting ridiculous here. I'll wait. There we go. What is that? Bible Tract Faith Up. 
So typically, unless I'm mistaken, Faith has referred to uh, something to do with spirit arts. Like picking up Book of Revelations gave you a Faith up or something like that. I mean, I know what else Book of Revelations does, but now Faith, uh, I remember Edmund teasing this, is kind of its own stat. I don't know what it does. I'm going to guess that it gives you a better chance to get spirit hearts or angelic items, or maybe it's the antithesis of evil in the game. You know, you have an evil stat, here's your Faith stat to kind of balance it out. Same way you can get a Tears Up and a Tears Down, here's like basically an Evil Up and a Faith Up. Evil Up and an Evil Down. Um, but that's, you know, it's just a hunch. I don't know. Clearly we do not have BOGO keys. We do have 10 keys though, which is pretty solid. And it looks like we probably will get a full prayer card situation happening here, which is awesome. Our damage is suffering a little bit. What is this? This is new. That's like a, like a gluttony, miniature gluttony or something? Dry baby, immortal friend, immortal friend. How would you, what would you uh, put as your hunch on this one, viewers? Dear reader, I have no idea. I, I hope to find out though. Maybe it gets hit by stuff and if it gets hit, then it explodes or something? Dry baby. Well, maybe we should try to get it wet somehow, I don't know. I'm at a loss. But interested to see what happens, nonetheless. Anyway, this run should be a foregone conclusion to beat Mom. We've got so much HP. Mom's heart? I don't know, Mom's heart's a totally different beast now. I don't like to... I'm not as confident in my predictions with Mom's heart as I used to be. I'd rather wait and see uh, how that goes. Plus, there's possibly another deal with the devil uh, that we'll encounter in the meantime. And who knows what kind of other surprises the game's got cooked up for us. So the fact that I got, um, good, I'm glad to be fighting greed. We won't be able to donate any money, but that's fine. Um, that's really, I'm not mad. Oh, okay. So we used Necronomicon there. I'm going to assume that that was, uh, Dry Baby that did that. I don't know what's up with it, but that's okay. We'll figure that out later. Maybe. We can't pick up that Spirit Heart, but yeah, I'm assuming that because of this Faith Up stat, that's why we had a better chance to get Spirit Hearts. Forgot that we even had Dead Bird. So we don't really need a better chance to get Spirit Hearts. Maybe uh, Red... Uh, the... Uh, red... Uh, left Hand. Why am I so silly sometimes? I thought maybe the Left Hand would be even better, but... Uh, oh well. We'll stick with this one because it's new. Also, probably should have waited and used uh, like Prayer Card immediately on the next floor, but we're probably going to get half of an Eternal Heart on the next floor anyway via the Prayer Card, so... Who knows? Good stuff. We don't need those. Mom fight. Regular mom, as it maybe always is for now. Okay, watch out for the shadow. The mom fight is not much harder. It's just different. And a lot slower for us right now, but that's a different beast, I think. Come on now. <laughs> maybe the foot comes out less often? I don't know. I guess we haven't really had that many HP upgrades, or sorry, uh, that many damage upgrades on this run. We've had a lot of HP upgrades. I would like the foot to drop a little bit more. At least we have Dead Bird active now. That should help us out with some DPS. Not that I like Dead Bird. That was stupid of me. Come on, foot. I asked for the foot more often. There we go. 50% of the way through the fight. Oh my god. Maybe the foot comes down a little faster, or maybe I'm just not used to looking at the shadow the same way. Yeah, that one very nearly got me. My reaction time's being tested a little bit here. There we go! Okay. I do think the foot might be a little bit faster now. How convenient that it took me like six episodes to come to that conclusion. Now that I'm having trouble getting out of the way. Come on. I'm just staying in the middle. Stay away from the body segments, except for that one, apparently. But hey, we won! Is that an Eternal Heart? That's very lucky. We also got a speed upgrade, which is pretty much worthless. But hey, down to the next floor. Good run so far. I'm excited. Curse Room doesn't interest me that much. So what are my concerns on this run right now? Yeah, you know, a relative lack of damage. That sucks pretty hard. It's okay, be cool here. Oh, that was... Oh, I didn't take damage there. I thought I took damage there. Uh, relative lack of damage concerns me a little bit. 
We have a lot of HP though, that can counteract that pretty quickly. Or pretty easily, I should say. Shielded Tears? Seems like a cool tier effect, a little bit more than a novelty, but... It's not super incredible. You know what? Uh, no, I shouldn't lose this Spirit Heart unless I... Unless I have to. Cool, one extra key. I mean, we spent the key to do it, but... I suppose this is okay. If I could just tell these turrets to F off, I would love to. This is where piercing shots would be amazing. We haven't had piercing shots, I think, in, in Rebirth yet. It's a disappointment. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Would you, the prayer card's gonna be ready for use. Would you use it right now? If you only had one shot, would you take it or let it slip away? I wouldn't take it here, honestly. We're so close to our HP cap anyway. Why don't we just, you know, play it cool? Better to have one guaranteed HP than take a crack at two and fuck up, I'd say. At least, you know, we, we want to keep ourselves fairly risk averse here while I'm still bad at the game. Eventually, I'll reach a point where I'm a little bit better. And then we can talk about making those kind of silly decisions. But for now, as your Isaac Investor, I can't uh, support that decision. Balls of Steel. Great. Happy to have it. Hey, guess what I'm going to do now? Use the prayer card. We could still pretty e oh. We could still pretty easily lose uh, the Eternal Heart, especially because I'm coming into our curse room, but hey, Book of Bilal. Yeah, okay, prayer card's been good. We're only going to get like one HP out of it for the rest of the game, probably. Two free deal with the Devil items seems pretty good for me. Not necessarily free because we had to give up the uh, prayer card to do it, but I'm, I'm so dumb. I apologize for that. We're so lucky we have a key surplus. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about things. It is a mob trap room. You know what? Uh, even though Fistula is a boss, I think we're totally fine to not use Book of Belial here. Oh, the Fistula parts, they come over the rocks now. That actually makes... What a simple tweak to make Fistula a, a lot harder, actually. Especially... There you go. Especially when you have the ability to fly. It used to be that you could just hang out over those rocks and I don't think Fistula could get you. Although the flies could. If you were fighting like bomb fly Fistula. I'll open it. Oh, cool. Infamy. Damage reduction. That seems real good. So maybe if we get hit from the front, it'll only cost us like half of a red heart or something. That would be incredible. And actually, that would be the final redemption. Or uh, the perfect redemption, I should say, for Mask of Infamy. From hated enemy to beloved item. Book of Bilal is really making us do some serious damage here. As we will hopefully see against uh, Loki. And which this fight is going to be anything but. So the Devil card uh, plus Book of Belial seems like a really, really good combination for our uh, our mom's heart fight. And we'll try to go to Satan if we can. I still don't know what gives you that deal with the Devil chance after Satan, if it's normal deal with the Devil parameters, or if maybe it's related to something entirely differently. I might know by the time this video goes up, but I look forward to reading the comments regardless. Alright, so we're a little bit more than 50% of the way done here. We're not quite doing the kind of damage I would love to do with Book of Belial, but I'm happy to do this much damage at least. It's better than we were doing before. Plus the uh, health bars are actually representative now, so it's not as bad as it seemed maybe. Before you'd get an enemy 95% dead and it was actually only like 40% of the way through the fight sometimes. Charm Tears worked fairly well there. And because Book of Belial is only a three-room charge, lucky us. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, because Book of Belial is only a three-room charge, uh, we're in a great spot. We're going to be able to use that against this boss. I did lose my Eternal Heart. I'll readily admit that, unfortunately. Bad gas. No big deal. Great poop sound, by the way. I never want to know how you foleyed that one. Skolex is a pain in the dick now. I think we uh, we learned that earlier on. He's a little bit more annoying than he used to be. Those tears exploded. That's unusual. I'll tell you what, let's put a bomb down there. Oh, good, he pushes bombs away, too. We have 22 of them, so we can afford to F up a little. So we gotta put the bomb, like, a little bit left of center or something. Alright, we can do that. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought he just wouldn't shoot at all there. Well, you know, we're still doing decent damage to his, like, bodily parts. There we go. We'll just handle this fight the old-fashioned way. I can wait. 
I am also an idiot, as we're quickly learning. I still struggle with the perspective sometimes when enemies jump like this. It's my own fault, though. I should know by now. There we go. We got some HP back, and because we have HP and so much of it in uh, supply, I think we can take a deal with the devil. But, of course, it's just the prayer card, and I'm an idiot. Uh, the prayer card was not charged up, by the way, so uh, I don't feel bad about leaving that behind there. Map situation is like a little bit more convoluted now. Because we, uh, it, it's, it's a lot harder to tell. Oh, this is like straight up dingle. This isn't your miniature dingles. This is your real ass dingle right here. Real ass dingle. Um, yeah, this is, uh, it, it's a little harder to, to guess where to go because of the small rooms and large rooms and this seems like a huge floor. But whatever. I have confidence that we have way more than enough HP to make it work. Bomb's a little bit less potent on the mom's heart fight now though, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> this room is, uh, my worst nightmare. So we'll just kill, you know, one track at a time, basically. They never switch, right? So there's just one outside track, one indoor track. So we're halfway done. Alright, we'll stay here. We're gonna have to rotate a little bit. Wish they went in the opposite direction when they got charmed. This is a nasty room. Mostly just annoying, but I can see you, like, losing your focus and taking damage here. So we'll go up. And yeah, I will totally use Book of Belial here. I hate these enemies. I think it's going to take forever to kill these guys. Like, the damage that they do doesn't seem meaningful at all. It just seems like it... We didn't get hit there. Oh, but he got hit. Is that how it works? When he takes damage, he uses Necronomicon? We should try to steer him into tears more often. That bomb should work. Yeah, the, this seems like an enemy you you might want to use bombs on. One's dead. Come on, dead bird. Thank you. Okay, took way more damage than I'm happy with here. That's all right though. You got to spend money to make money, probably. Sometimes. Oh, that was uh, almost some terrible damage there. Shielded Tears seem like a really strong counter against these guys. You know, I'm, I'm still into the idea of Shielded Tears. I think I would rather have a, a variety of other tier effects, though. You still pretty much gotta dodge, because sometimes the shots come in on top or below. Well, maybe, probably not below, but on top of where you can dodge them. Thank you, presumably, Faith Upgrade stat. Um, I guess the bombs are red instead of green now, to kind of uh, convey the information that they don't do poison damage. If that's the case, I think it's a very smart change, even though it is taking me a minute to get used to. Whoa, that's a new one. All right, I don't like that very much. Oh, we don't kill these enemies. I'm assuming they just die when we kill all the enemies on the room. Thank you, Necronomicon. No, they stop when you kill all the enemies on the room. They don't die. They could rise again at some point. That's the implication, of course. Yep. Not surprised I took damage here. What is this room? That looks like an arcade. It is an arcade. It's an arcade that requires a penny. I looked at it for a second to see if maybe it required a key. So I'm not, well, here's the thing. I'm not super interested in gambling a lot, but at the same time, I don't have a lot of money. So we can't gamble a lot, which is in this case, perhaps a happy accident or a happy coincidence. Oh, that's pill. I thought that was like spirit heart. Ah, very nice. Now our pill was explosive diarrhea. This is one of those rare situations where that might have been an okay thing. We actually got a penny out of it. Didn't earn us any extra keys, but that's alright. Shit happens sometimes. Bomb and a key and a red heart we do want because we don't have uh, Polaroid anyway. And we do have some weird form of damage reduction that I don't fully understand. Oh, nice! That, it's really a happy accident when that happens. What is our... We have the devil card. We probably want to use that instead of bad gas. So I'm probably just not going to use Book of Belial, because I'm really banking on the idea that this is our boss room. Very confident that this is going to be our boss room, and we'll be able to just live our lives. That guy breaks free sometimes? Good to know, so you want to kill him quickly. I think that might be the, the draw there. Good, good. Warmer, closer, better. There's our boss room. What did I tell you? 
Fuck this room. Oh my god. I, I'm starting to see the draw on these guys. What, what makes them so annoying? The craziest knockback in history? Is that what it is? Did I figure it out? Where's my gold star? They're kind of like wiggle worming around everywhere. Is this Edmund's way of saying fuck you guys for making fun of wiggle worm for so long? I hope not. Alright, so there's a book of Belial. Good shot so far, as you can tell. Um, I've been practicing. Here's a challenge run. Beat, uh, beat the game with only the Necronomicon hits from Dry Baby. Weird name for an item, man. Dry Baby. Is Mom's Heart still vulnerable up there, or is this the new version of Mom's Heart pulling up? It's just, it, it keeps being an asshole while it pulls up. I think that's it, okay. It's taken me far too long to realize that that's how things work here. Shielded Tears? I know I said something maybe I could regret, uh, about you, that I would prefer some other tier effects. I, that still may be true, I'll admit, but I'm digging, uh, I'm digging your effect against these bullet held matches right here. Imagine if you had a really high rate of fire and like quad shot, shielded tears, and you were against the standard blue baby fight. I don't know if there is a standard blue baby fight anymore, that's the thing. This is a little frightening. But we're gonna beat mom's heart for sure. Will we be able to continue? I don't know. It looks like yes, we will. Uh, I unlocked a noose and the solar system. You can't see that, but I can see it. Let's try to beat uh, Satan, shall we? Oh, that was a straight up nickel. A shiny Stanley nickel. Transcendence has appeared in the basement. We know what that is. Solar system, looks like a bunch of orbitals. Cool. I didn't even use the devil card against mom's heart. What am I thinking? Well, oh, no, 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 no. I don't like this at all. I'm also getting sucked in by these, uh, this gravity tractor beam in the middle here. This is a challenging room, my friend. Oh, come on, pop up. Oh, dead bird, you almost saved me. Good, good stuff. Okay. That could be a nightmare. I really, I can't tell you how much I want to beat Satan this time. I know we're probably late to the party on it. I just want it to be done. Start working on other stuff. Those spirit hearts are going to help out a lot. This curse room? How do I feel about it? I don't know. Maybe. Try to use Book of Belial on rooms that matter. Honestly, this strikes me as a room that doesn't matter that much if we can just dodge appropriately. I got hit, but Mask of Infamy blocked it, so I don't... Maybe it actually just blocks damage if it hits it, but if you get hit twice or something, it breaks the mask. I don't know. All sorts of crazy shit in Rebirth that I don't understand. Probably should have taken damage there. Can one of you just be dead? Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Thank you, dead bird. Finally does its job. That is our boss room. Oh, I got super lucky. Explosive diarrhea. Probably a little bit less valuable than death here. Let's put a bomb down. Use the devil card. Use Book of Belial. We got it all going on now. Fucked up my bomb usage right off the bat. Nice. Bad, but nice. Okay. That's good stuff. Keep it up. Oh, that charm! Especially if he fires his laser, that might be pretty okay. Almost done with the Fallen. I would consider the Fallen maybe the easiest part, maybe second easiest part. Now we got Ray Real Satan here. Real Satan's got some shit up his sleeve that I'm not so happy about this time. Like that one right there, but I guess as long as you're shielding and you don't move, you should be able to block all those shots, right? Yeah. Like, or as long as you have the shielded uh, shots, I mean to say. Let's get out of the way of that. Okay, pretty good so far. Pretty great so far. I think we're gonna beat Satan. That'll be a first time, and we did it as Eve. How's about that? You wouldn't have expected that coming in, would you? Oh, so it does drop two right off the bat, unlike the uh, the Satan fight in Vanilla. The Thrilla in Vanilla. Oh, you know what? I didn't notice this until now. I'm getting shit on for, for one. But there's an area of effect on the foot attack now. So we can't even get close to it. We gotta stay far, far away. I was so worried about that. Oh my god, I think we're gonna throw. Don't do it again. It's 
Stay away. <gasps> oh, I threw again. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I genuinely mean that. Fuck. We unlocked some new stuff. Dang, though, yo. Win streak minus one. Don't give me that horse hockey. We at least got our third mom's hard kill, but that loss to Satan with so much HP hurts so bad. In any case, thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. Those are the highs and lows of Isaac. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the seed. Hope you played along. Hope you did better than I did. And I'll see you next time.